Ready for some live music in our studios? We have from Portland, Oregon, Grey Lag, just re- t- uh, just uh, releasing their self-titled album. To my left here is Andrew, right? Yes. Andrew, if you first would uh, let our listeners know the other guys in the band here that are with you today. Uh, this is Daniel on guitar, Brady on drums, and Seth on bass. All right. Thank you guys all for being here. If you're ready for a couple of songs, that'd yeah. be wonderful. Yeah.
Live music here at KEXP. You're listening to Grey Lag. Their uh, music from their recent uh, self-titled album came out on the Dead Oceans label. They are from Portland. And again, thank you guys for being here this afternoon. Uh, Andrew and Daniel. Now, you guys met each other years before moving to Portland, correct? Yeah. Yeah? Where did you guys meet? Uh, we met through mutual friends in Louisville, Kentucky. So that's where you're originally from? I'm originally from West Virginia. Okay. And yeah. I'm from San Francisco. San Francisco, West Virginia, Louisville, Kentucky. All right. <laughs> so did you guys move to Portland at the same time? Was that a plan? No, there wasn't a whole lot of plans in the beginning. It was like I really randomly met you. I was really randomly living in Kentucky in the first place. And then met you and... We were just collaborating kind of haphazardly. It was really exciting, but we kind of had our own lives. So eventually, I moved back to California and uh, needed somewhere to be, so I moved to Portland. And within like, less than a year, Andrew came back up there, and um, very soon we had added Brady on drums. And that's sort of been the uh, standard trio for the last few years. And then um, we're playing with our friend Seth also on bass now, and he's been awesome. He's a real road dog, and <laughs> take him anywhere, and everyone loves him. So you've been traveling and, a lot, I know you. So you need a road dog there. Yeah, pretty you. much. So we uh, need like a personality balancer. And that's yeah. what we need. <laughs> oh, that's very important in the dynamics of a band. Absolutely. Uh, so tell me about the uh, experience of then uh, writing songs. The uh, how much did uh, actually being in Portland uh, play a role in that? Did that have any effect on the actual songwriting? Well, we were able to get together, yeah. you know, and actually make music in the same town because we had kind of been shooting music back and forth to each other from West Virginia to California. Yeah. So just like getting in the same place and, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Now you had an EP a couple of years ago, and now there's this new album, which is uh, produced by Phil Eck from right here in Seattle. You recorded it here with him? We did, yeah. Okay. Uh, how about the experience of the first EP to a couple of years later now this year with the new album coming out that probably had a big uh, in, a big experience a big uh, change of uh, becoming a band during that time period it's actually almost four and a half years since we first recorded that it took yeah. a while for it to come out and that was in the very beginning baby stages of the band so yeah. Andrew had actually moved out with the majority of those songs already formed and we sort of just all tried to cobble together this EP, basically, so that we could prove to the world that we were a band and we could get shows, we could hand them a CD. And then um, we kind of just kept going on that for a while. So the difference between that record and this record is that we had to do the hard work to figure out what we wanted to sound like as a, f as a band together. You know, we had to figure out how we wanted to write songs together, sort of like what who and what we wanted to be like we didn't we had to form an identity and that just took a few years yeah did you know phil along the way or did, how did you contact him to uh, get this going so we actually had a guy working with us who had known phil for a long time and he he warned us that there was no chance phil would say yes <laughs> to us but we he was really he was you know he was tops on our list of people that we wanted to work with and he warned us he's like look phil he doesn't work on very many projects and so when we found out that he uh, wanted to meet us we were really thrilled and it was we still but it wasn't real yet you know we, so we came up here and we had a really great dinner with him and I think that we really clicked um, as people like we just liked him and I think that you know when you're going to be spending that many hours just locked away in a small room with, uh, out, uh, without other outside influences, like you have to like each other. So I think at that point, um, when it was really on, we didn't, we didn't know it was really on until we were actually here recording. So yeah, and we love Seattle. We spent almost three months up here. So got wow. to know it really well. That's a good, uh, good deal of time. Yeah. All yeah. right. So uh, very happy with the, the, with the songs and how it all sounded at the end. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. He's, he's great. We love yeah. Phil. You recently uh, had a European tour, is that correct? How many shows did you guys do? Oh, maybe 10 yeah. or so, around 10. 10? All right, and now you've got a couple of more shows coming up here this month. Actually, not here, but you're going to Indiana, Alabama. You guys are still traveling around, so it's on the website. <laughs> sure. Yeah, yeah, I'm not sure if anyone here is going to be able to make it to those shows, <laughs> but they're, um, they should be fun. It's, yeah. uh, it's always, you know, it's fun to get out of town and and see different places. I've never been yeah. to Bloomington and 
or Birmingham for yeah. that matter. Yeah. Uh, so we're at the end of 2014. How much is there planned out for the upcoming year? It's a secret. It's a secret. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's a even, secret to us. Even to us. <laughs> yeah. No, we're going to be touring a lot. Yeah. And you know, we don't know what those tours are yet. Okay. But we haven't we haven't had a full uh, tour in the U.S. yet, so we're really excited about that. Um, we're kind of there's a number of things in the works, but nothing we can we can talk about. But but yeah, it's like you know this is where we're from. We want to share it with people here. So very good. All right, let's share some more music. This is uh, Gray Lag playing live here at KEXP. A couple of more songs.
It's 90.3 KEXP here in Seattle. You're listening to music from Grey Lag. A little tuning up here going on. Arms Unknown was that song right there. And they've got one more, which I think is the song, which is the video as well. True, I am told. Their self-titled album is on the Dead Oceans label, if you like this uh, cool acoustic electric sound that they've got going on. Discover new music at listenerpoweredkexp.org.